Hello and welcome to this video. My name's Barry Beckham. Thanks for watching. Well, as you can see by the text on screen, we're going to continue looking at what's new in Pictures to XE10. But in this video, we're going to just look at something new in the software called Themes. So what, in fact, is a theme? Well, a theme is a collection of slide styles which we can apply very simply and quickly to a large number of images or an entire presentation that we may be making. So the slide styles that form a particular theme could be a set of styles that are very similar in nature, but I don't see why a theme couldn't be a series of completely different slide styles maybe they're just a selection of our own personal favorites now slide styles have been around for a few years now let's go in and take a look at them for a moment if i just select one of these images and go down to the button you'll notice that the styles button now says styles and themes because that is what we're now looking at and when i click to open that window you'll notice there's an option to go to themes here or styles so we need to make sure we go to the right one we'll come back to themes in a moment now as you can see here I have a category of slide styles selected from within pictures to XE called borders and I've currently highlighted border zoom out pan right and we do get the opportunity to see exactly what we're going to get in the thumbnail at the top right but there's quite a number of slide styles within this particular category. If I wanted to apply the border zoom out pan right to the image I've got highlighted in the slide list, then I can do that. If I wanted to add this particular slide style, border zoom out pan right, to 50 or 500 images, I can apply that in one go. But if I wanted to apply border pan down to the first slide and this one to the next slide and this one to the third slide and so on then I'd have to do that manually I'd have to select each of the slides select the slide style then the next slide and so on whilst it's much quicker than actually pre-programming all of these effects in individually it would still get quite a problem if we had 50 or a hundred images to deal with and that is where themes come in so let me demonstrate how we can create our own themes by first importing a couple of sets of slide styles so while we're in the slide styles window I'm going to go to my tools and import style now I've dropped a couple of styles onto my desktop you can see they're both reading much the same BD folding black BD folding white if I select the white one first we can either double click or open it'll appear down the left hand side and as you can see there's 10 styles within the category called BD folding white white just refers to the fact that I've got a white title of the image because that's going to come up automatically and also I've got the edge of the image in white too. Now I created two sets of styles, one is in white and one is in black. So I've got one set with a black edge and black text. But the actual effects are identical, but I can bring them in too. So let's go down to tools and import style. There's the other one, I'll double click that so there's the two categories of slide styles that I've created what we're going to do is we're going to make a theme set of one the other or in fact we could even mix the two let's just take the BD folding white and begin with that what we can also do sometimes is add a title slide at the start and the end or a blank so what I'm also going to do for a moment I'm going to create a blank and I'm going to make that into a slide style and you'll see how that's going to fit in with themes in a few moments so for now I'm just going to close this window down because I need to create my blank that's pretty easy alt s will do that I'm going to leave it set with a two second fade 
and a five second slide duration and I'm going to make a slide style of that blank. So go into my styles and themes, this should be pretty quick, tools, create a style. In the category I think I'll just call this blank or blanks just in case I add any other different colours. Here I'll just call this one black. Of course we get the opportunity to put who we are, the author and any comments but I don't think we need anything there. So I'm going to click to create that. Now I need to go into my themes. So let's go back to styles and themes but this time I need to switch to the themes tab. And we're going to make a start by going down to the tools. You'll notice when I click the tools we can create a theme we can edit a theme once we've got it created which is very useful and like slide styles we can import themes made by others and we can export the themes we've made so we can share them with others we can rename them and of course we're going to need from time to time to delete them but for the moment we're going to create the theme just take a look up at the center top and you'll see there's a few themes here created within pictures to Exe when we first install it. I'm working on a beta version of pictures to Exe 10 so this list may change slightly in the final version but here I'm going to choose to create a theme. Now the window is opened up full screen you may not see this on your computer it may open up something like this we need a bit of space down at the bottom right here so I'm going to suggest it's a good idea to open this window up fully. What we're looking at on the left hand side are all of the slide styles within Pictures to Exe and now of course we can choose from them. So let's take my BD folding white. I can tick the box and we get all 10 appear down at the bottom right. If I didn't want all 10 I can remove them from the right hand side but I can also drop down this little arrow here and remove the tick from any of the slide styles that I don't want. Let's just assume that we want all of those for this particular demonstration. But I also would like to put a blank at the start and the end. So if I tick that box you'll notice the blank that I've made appears down at the bottom right. So I've got all 10 of my slide styles and my black blank. I need this at the start as well as the end so if I highlight that and go to the plus sign I can make a copy then I can use the arrows here to nudge it to the top. Now the reason I want to do that is to take you through the options we have in the upper right. Let's start with the theme name and we'll come to the reason I've put a blank at the start and the end in a moment. Theme name and the category. I don't have any categories here because I've not made any yet this is the first one so let's just call this book fold because the style I've used is reminiscent of a book folding and the theme name well on this occasion it may be best just to stay with what I called the slide styles which is book fold in white most of the time I would be putting my website address in there which does tell anyone who's interested who created it and I think I've made a mistake there by putting a comma instead of a dot I do that far too often must get my eyes fixed and of course we do get the opportunity to put some comments in the comment box if we feel it's appropriate and necessary just below the comment section we have three other choices if we tick the first one we're telling the software to use the first style for the beginning of our theme and the first style is our blank black. We can tick the next one which does much the same at the end gives us our blank black at the end and we can then tick the next box if we wish of course to randomize the order of the slide styles 1 to 10 in between and it's only going to randomize the styles not the way the images appear in our slideshow. That's all there is to it. We can click OK to complete the theme.
What we need to do next then is to test the theme we've just made. I think I'll do that by just removing the title slide that I created with the delete key and also this blank. So I'm left with just a batch of images. There's the start and there's the end. So if I select them all, in fact I'll use Control A for speed and go back to my styles and themes. There we can see the category we created, book fold. There we can see the theme itself called white. It's telling us that there's 12 styles here. Well that includes the 10 that I created plus the blank at each end. And of course if we want to apply these styles to more than 12 images they'll just be repeated. It's not a problem. We do have an option over here to shuffle the styles and there we can see some of the information that we can apply when creating themes. Here though, I just need to click the apply button. We'll see the theme applied all throughout those images. Let's go to the end first, seeing as that's where we're closest. There's the blank that's been created automatically. We can see all of the styles are in place there and there's the blank at the start. Earlier on I said one of the options open to us was the ability to edit a theme we've created. I'd like to do that here because there's one other thing I'd like to point out. So if I go back to my styles and themes button and bring everything on screen, I'm going to go back to the theme I made, highlight it, right click and choose to edit the theme. Because down on the right hand side here you can see we've got an option to change the number of times that a style is seen. So if amongst that batch of 10 that we may be applying to 50 or 60 images, if there's one that we want to show a number of times, we can just click here and type in the number of times that particular slide style will be shown. I think I'm quite happy here to just leave it set to repeat once, but that's a useful thing to know. Now just for the moment I'm going to come away from this window by pressing the cancel button. One of the things we need to be aware of is that within Pictures to Exe 10 any slide styles we create and themes are not going to be backward compatible to earlier versions of Pictures to Exe such as version 8 or 9. Now we did see earlier on in the slides and themes window that a number of themes do come along with Pictures to Exe when we install it and if we go to the main section you'll see a few of those. We've got border, pan and zoom and I'll remind you again we're working with a beta version of the slideshow software here so this may change just a little bit. We've got a creative section, a slide section which is quite nice, a wedding section, but let me go back to the Ken Burns effect because we've got eight styles here and they're going to give us a gentle pan and zoom and we even get some settings here to be able to vary those. But let me just close this just for a moment. I'll do a control A here to select all of those images. I'll go back to styles and themes and I'll just apply one of those that come with pictures to XE10. I'll choose the Ken Burns effect and apply it. Now we can't see a great deal here but if I just press play I'll select one of these images up here we can see what this effect is giving us here a gentle zoom and it's over 12 seconds this one is a little bit shorter at 9 seconds there you can see a gentle pan so all of those themes or styles can be added to our slideshow via the theme that's already built into Pictures to Axie. So let's quickly create another theme. Styles and themes. I'm going to go directly to my tools making sure I have identified the themes tab and I'm going to create a theme. I'm going to take my folding black I'm going to take my folding white in their entirety I'm not going to worry too much about the first style for the beginning and last style because I think it's not too difficult to put whatever we want in the 
start of the presentation and the end but it may be nice to randomize the order of all of these styles so we get a mixture of black edged and black text and white edged and white text that's all I need to do apart from changing the theme name and the category so here we can now select book fold as the category and maybe I could call this one mixed and I think I'll put my website in here under the author section and of course I could put some comment in here too there you can see I've just put something into the comments box these are presentation styles in black and white edges with text and all I need to do now is click OK so once again if I select the first of these and the last or I hit Control A to select them all in one go I can go to my themes back into my book fold now we've got two options we've got the white set which we previously made with blanks but we've also got the mix set just 20 styles now because we've got the two sets of 10 and I can apply them by highlighting and hitting the apply button or double clicking and there we can see the effect quick scroll down to make sure everything has happened just as we expected it to and if we just select one or two of them there we've got a black edge a black edge a white a white a white we've got the random order that we selected so when we think this through when we go to our styles and themes if we identify the styles button here we've got any one of the blacks which we can apply so I could select book 17 I can take a look at what it's going to give me and I can apply that to one or a hundred images all in one go but if I want to apply the whole set then we need to switch over to our themes and you've seen just how quick and easy it is to make them let me take you back into the slide styles and themes just one more time to remind you that if we're going to create a theme and we hit the tools and create the theme let's assume that I'm going to use the BD folding white set of slide styles I can of course just tick the box and pictures to XE will include all 10 of them down at the bottom right but if I didn't want all 10 if there were a couple in here that I'd like to remove I can do that in a couple of ways I can look at them broken down in individual slide styles here so if I wanted to remove numbers 5 and 6 I can do that down on the bottom right 5 and 6 have just been removed but I can also do it by just hitting the plus and minus the minus for removing a slide and plus for duplicating one so now I've got book 8 duplicated and as we did before we can always move the position of these if we have the need to do that now as you can see by the spinning round of the screen I've opened up the styles and themes window to the default size and I've hit the styles button what I'm going to do is I'm going to export both my category of black edged slide styles and also the white edged slide styles you have to say that pretty slowly or your tongue trips over your teeth I'm going to export both of those and make them available on my website so just come to my website at www.beckhamdigital.photo and go to the pictures to XE 10 section and you should find them pretty easily but what I'll also include if I jump to my themes button is now three sets of themes one with just the black themes the white one with the blanks at the start and the end and also the mixed one we created earlier so I'm going to export all of these and on this occasion I'll just demonstrate it once with the book fold I'm going to go to the category choose export theme now I can drop that onto my desktop or onto a USB stick wherever I require it 
to either upload it to a website or attach it to an email. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you're informed whenever I post a new video. I have recorded a second video under the subject of what's new in Pictures to XE10 and I'll include a link below to that particular video. Remember that many of the videos you can view on YouTube are freely available as a download from my website so you can have them easily stored on your desktop. I'll see you next time.